Hello crochet fans, Tasha Butterfield here. I'm an alpaca rancher and crochet instructor. Welcome to Forever Bliss Crochet. In this video we are discussing the differences between knitting and crochet. And you can see here I have two samples. The knitting is on the left and the crochet is on the right. These swatches are unblocked, meaning I did not wet and reshape them, so the natural curl of the fabric is still present. But I did make the swatches the exact same size, same width, and same height. I used the same worsted weight yarn and the same size tool, 5.5 millimeter knitting needles and 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now naturally the first thing that you notice when comparing knitting and crochet is the difference in the way that the stitches look. Each technique creates its own type of fabric. The knitting stitches do come out smaller. This knitting swatch is 20 stitches across and 26 rows tall. Whereas the crochet stitches are bigger, this swatch is 17 stitches wide and 18 rows tall. But they do come out to be the same size swatch. Another obvious difference between knitting and crochet, besides the way that the fabric looks, is the tools that are used. Now knitting uses two needles with a tapered pointed end. Crocheting uses one tool that has a hook at the head. When you observe how knitting and crochet are made, you understand why these tools are chosen for each of the techniques. In knitting, all of the stitches are live, meaning that they are kept on one of the knitting needles and then worked and moved over to the other needle. For example, the knit stitch is made by taking the live stitch, manipulating the yarn, and then moving that stitch over to the other needle, and you progress all the way across the row. Crochet only has one live stitch at a time and we pick up free stitches along the row as we work. This is the single crochet stitch. As you can tell, both techniques use interlocking loops to create the fabric. It's just that the loops are manipulated in a very different manner. A few other differences between knitting and crochet would be in knitting, there's a lot of options for casting on and binding off. Casting on is the way that you start your fabric. There's many different ways to start, as well as when you finish and you've completed the last row of your stitches and you still have all of them live on a needle, there are different ways to bind off, which means taking that row and finishing it into a finished edge like this one. Whereas crochet has a lot more stitches. Knitting only has knit and purl, but crochet has six stitches. The one here is a single crochet, which is the most popular stitch. Knitting fabric is thinner than crochet, and that's the main reason why there's more curl in knitting. You can see the curl of the edges and the curls of the ends. Now the full size of this is much bigger if I were to have blocked it, which means wetting it and pinning it down so that it lays flat. Crochet fabric is thicker. If you remember back to when I was making the stitches, there's more loops that go into creating a crochet stitch uh, regardless of its size, and that creates a thicker fabric. The stitches being bigger also means that the fabric works up faster. Because of the differences in the fabric that knitting and crochet create, knitting is often better for garments since it's a thinner fabric and you can use more intrinsic designs. Crochet is better for household items, they're great for toys and embellishments. Whether you knit or crochet is really a personal preference and you would start off deciding based on the things that you want to make. But I would highly suggest that you learn both. Both have value and they can also be worked together. I really don't think cost is a factor when deciding whether to knit or crochet. The knitting supplies tend to be more expensive than crochet, but crochet uses more yarn. 
There are many resources to learn how to knit or crochet. I'm releasing some online courses later this year, starting with a full beginning crochet course. It is going to be the only beginning crochet course you are ever going to need. And then later this year, I'll also release knitting for crocheters. So you'll have the opportunity to learn both skills, which I highly recommend. So if you're interested in this, click on the link down in the description box. You'll be led to subscribe to my mailing list and you'll be the first to know when the classes are released and you'll also get a discount. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. If you have any suggestions for more video topics, leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video.